So it was my great great grandfather, uh, William Angel. Uh, he signed up as a young single man. Well, he actually failed the medical the first time round, uh, but then later on in the war was able to, to sign up and pass the tests. And he was allocated to the signalling corps. Um, and we have his diary from the war when he was there. Kind of gives you an idea of what sort of conditions they were living in, um, what sort of events were going on behind the lines and also when he was on the front line as well. I took that over with me when I was in France and was able to look at some of the places that he visited that he'd written in his diary. And we also visited those and sang um, as part of the choir. So one of my favourite pieces that we did uh, this year for Anzac Day uh, was After the War uh, and it's a very, very powerful piece of music um, with some really powerful lyrics that talks about the relationships and the families behind these soldiers that were over there. So there's a particular part in the song that always gets me choked up. It, it talks about, you know, this young man reflecting on perhaps a sweetheart back home um, and thinking you know, the words go my love please forgive me I never planned to die and just thinking all these lives young lives cut short um, either you know by um, death over in the fields or by when they were very badly wounded and came home not quite themselves so lives that were changed forever not just the young men but also the families back home being able to share our gift of music with the people over the, over in France um, was really powerful way of kind of bringing us together our different communities different um, people different backgrounds uh, and really um, remembering commemorating what went on a hundred years ago.